a boat shaped building in the water. Guilin Gongyuan Guilin Park. In 1920s, this was owned by the most notorious mafia in Shanghai city, whose name is Huang Jinglong. Osmanthus Guihua, most dominant plant in this garden. So it's a forest of Osmanthus in Chinese. Guilin. Taihu Shi, Taihu Rock from bottom of a Taihu Lake. Limestone. And main hall of the garden. No, it's obviously a Chinese tea house. Eating pleasure pavilion. It looks like a Chinese sedan chair. So it's like a floating sedan chair in the middle of the lake with its reflections it's beautiful it's a combination of chinese cl classic chinese buildings and a western architecture this is what it's like inside of this rockery a lot of uh, turns a lot of twists on Guan Yin's birthday, Hong Jinglong would open his private garden to public, especially Buddhist believers, to come and pray at this place. Nine zigzag corridor with a roof. Huang Jinglong walked in the French concession in the police station from a detective all the way up. And he became finally became the most influential man in Shanghai 1920-1930s. He made money through illegal business like opium, like drugs, like uh, prostitution like casinos many senior citizens i think they maybe live close by and come here for tea looks like a bamboo but no it's still you can actually feel and you can see the welding part <laughs> looks like bamboo